Hi friends, uh, welcome to Pinterest 30 day challenge. Um, if you're joining me and Nikki Parr for this, come and check us out on International Crafters on our Facebook. Um, we're leading that group. We also have International Crafters on YouTube and we do live streams on there. Um, today's challenge is to make a, I'm using a paper uh, roll sock, um, wind sock of Japanese koi uh, for my inspiration. So I'm taking the roll and I'm doing something different using air dry clay on it. And I'm using this pen end here to make some scales and I am just going around my paper towel or paper roll and layering my pieces together. So this particular um, paste or this particular air dry clay is over a year old. I'm surprised it's working. I had to really work on it and add water to get it to work. Um, I did tape it shut so it did, It you know, it is, uh, pretty air dry but that's how it how it is so it was still lasted a whole year and um, in the packaging anyway I'm just gonna continue this and uh, go around the whole body of the fish and uh, all the way to the end I have a little plastic tool that I'm pushing down on the edges to make sure they adhere to each other and adding a little water at times as well as I'm just sticking my my end of it in the, uh, my glue water that I stick my brush in, nothing fancy, it's just that was there at the moment. And that's what I'm doing. Now I'm just adding a uh, roll to this um, in between, inside the roll, the paper roll. Um, it's like saran wrap roll and I'm just going in with this tool that I was mentioning, dipping in my glue water, but it's just basically dirty water. <laughs> just getting around the edges and making sure it's adhering and sticking and pressing against each other. I don't want it to be drying and any scales falling off and falling apart. Um, after this, I do put on some eyes and I make some fins to add on and, and I roll out some lips. So I hope you guys enjoy that.
So after drying this guy up a bit, so to the touch, I want to take my um, hole punch and punch some holes in the side of each cheek. So then I could put a chain in later before it's totally dry. I don't want to crack the um, paper clay afterwards. Now I'm cutting out the tail, um, the length I want it. So the tail colors I chose were actually white and gold. And I just did a whole bunch of colors there like that. And then what I did was I hot glue all the way around the back end of the windsock guy. Just like a real windsock um, would have ribbons for the wind to blow through the sock and blow the, the t tail ends. Well, I just decided to put a whole bunch of little ribbons and string that were gold and white. Here I'm preparing the chain. Here I'm twisting up a bit of wire at the end of one chain, side of the chain, that goes through his mouth. Twisting up kind of like in a, a spring way and having it so then it doesn't go through his little mouth. And then I just put that through. So I'm just doing the other side here. The first time I kind of made almost like an S spring on two sides. The second time I just made more of a spring thing and um, didn't need to make it too fancy, I realized. So I just, this is the part where I'm not in view all the time, so I just string in through. I made a little hook with a, another piece of wire and I'm pulling the other end through and trying to get through. And then I just do the same thing while it's through. Um, put a little piece at the end and just roll it up with the chain in there. Then I just do a touch of glue on the inside of his cheeks with that little spring wire thing that I made and um, it's done. It is then um, glued in there and it can't get through the hole. So here, because I made his lips uh, like two raindrops coming down from the top, I pushed in some wire and I'm just covering up the hole just to make sure that those pieces didn't fall off because they are separate. But I did try to make them um, stick together, but because at this point it's getting a little drier, just in case, I want to have a little bit more protection for them. They are going to be going with gravity, so I shouldn't have a problem. Here is the picture um, of the windsock. I did paint it after the fact, gold, and I'm hoping it's not too gold. I might have to go over with a little bit of white, but I hope you guys enjoyed this project and maybe give it a try. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check us out on International Crafters. Bye guys!